week. I know Melissa's on vacation this week, so Melissa won't be here. But Abby is here with us. Hi, Abby. How you doing? Hey, Kevin. So this week we're going to be covering, I'm going to be covering a little bit about um, Microsoft Threat Experts. This is a new service that's offered through your Office 365 subscriptions. Uh, we're going to be going through that. And then Abby's going to be walking you through the Inscape management, uh, and she's going to be reviewing what reports can do for you, how you can schedule them, and so on. So with that, I'll get started here, and Abby, keep your eye on the chats just in case there are any questions. Okay. So here we're, we are going to start. In fact, I, I downloaded a quick little two-minute movie here um, about Microsoft Threat Experts, and then we'll go into a little bit more detail. So I'm going to just play this. Microsoft Threat Experts can help expand the capabilities of your SOC by providing targeted alerts and on-demand security expertise for some of the most urgent threats in your organization. This video demonstrates these capabilities, plus how to enable and use them. Microsoft Threat Experts has two components, targeted attack notifications and experts on demand. Targeted attack notifications are special alerts. They're different from typical alerts because they bring attention to critical threats and typically include more details like the attack timeline, scope of breach, methods of intrusion, and instructions to help SOC teams continue with their investigation so they can respond with confidence. This is a huge time saver in a critical situation. When a threat exceeds the SOC's ability to investigate or it needs additional clarification on alerts, including root cause or scope of the incident, experts on demand can help. With experts on demand, threat experts are available to help fill these and other gaps and they provide expertise via technical consultations on relevant detections and adversaries. To enable Microsoft Threat Experts, select Settings and then Advanced Features. You need to apply for Microsoft Threat Experts so that Microsoft can review and approve it. Just select Apply and include your name and email address. Once approved, you'll receive a message to the email address you provided. And that's it. You're ready to use Microsoft Threat Experts. Microsoft Threat Experts provides proactive hunting for the most important threats, such as human adversary intrusions, hands-on keyboard attacks, and advanced attacks like cyber espionage. These critical threats are surfaced as custom alerts tagged with Threat Experts to notify customers that these are targeted attack notifications. Like other alerts, there is a description and recommended actions on how to discover more information and continue the investigation. However, what's special about these alerts is the additional detail. For example, we can use the timeline of observed events to quickly understand how this attack unfolded. Also, recommended actions provides us with a specific advanced hunting query to help gather more details about this incident for our investigation which saves a lot of discovery time. With Microsoft Threat Experts, customers can also partner with Microsoft Security Experts who engage directly from within Microsoft Defender Security Center. You can do that from various locations, like within an incident or an alert. I'll show you what that looks like in an alert. In the alert, select Actions and then Consult a Threat Expert. The Inquiry topic is automatically completed for you. It contains the relevant context of where you are selecting this option. Complete the context section with a description of what you need assistance with and submit it. I'll leave you with this. If you want some examples of the type of issues Microsoft Threat Experts can help you with, go to the page titled Configure and Manage Microsoft Threat Experts Capabilities in Microsoft Docs. Microsoft Threat Experts helps to extend the capabilities of your SOC by providing on-demand security expertise and targeted alerts for some of the most urgent threats in your organization. For more information about Threat Experts, see the documentation on Microsoft Docs. Okay, so as you can see, this is a pretty robust tool that Microsoft is offering. Now, I know the first question is, what kind of licensing do I need? So as you saw, these are both in your Microsoft Defender Security Center. So you're going to need Microsoft Defender, either Endpoint Plan 2 
or the full-blown Microsoft 365 Defender. So this will help you manage threats, hunting service that provides your security or your socks with expert level monitoring, analysis, and the ability to then take that next step with an expert to actually give you more insight into the data and give you the ability to actually resolve the um, resolve the problems that you're having. So this is really uh, like like they showed on here. You don't have to be a security expert to go in and do this. In fact, that's what they're depending upon is that you need to have an expert when you need it. And all you got to do is go into your um, go into your Office 365 underneath security in the admin console and request uh, the threat experts. So once you do that, they'll send an email to the address that you'll give them and they'll enable the service for you. So pretty cool feature uh, that they put in here. And if you're looking at targeted attack, attacks around, for instance, email or your network or different intrusions, uh, whether it be, you know, hands on the keyboard attacks or advanced attacks like cyber espionage, this is a great way for you to take advantage of this Microsoft. And, you know, Microsoft has really come a long way in security to help you take care of threat monitoring and analysis, to also um, teach your people how to start taking advantage of all the tools that Microsoft has to offer and prioritize the attacks that you're getting. If, you know, the, the worst thing that can happen is you get hundreds, if not thousands of notifications and you don't know what ones to handle first, this is a great tool to help you identify and then prioritize each one of these attacks. So really a, a, the, almost a perfect tool for especially those corporations that don't have a dedicated security department to help them analyze what's going on. So with experts on demand, you can go in and take some of these alerts and they don't have to be every single alert and you can actually submit them to the experts on demand, let them go through the data and then come back with recommendations, find out what the root cause was and give you information to help you solve any of these threats that you're having, people that are you know, trying to attack your environment and it really is to consult on each one of the threats that you get is is what they do on a one on one basis. And, you know, they see, obviously, a lot of these threats inside of Microsoft every day so they can actually handle them much, much quicker than you could on your own because they see hundreds, if not thousands of the same type of alerts every single day, and they know how to handle them much, much quicker than we would because they just have more experience doing it. They also have a thing called Microsoft Services Hub, and I'm gonna just do another little quick video here for you. The world of work is changing, and customers need support that is always on. That's why we created Microsoft Services Hub, the digital arm of unified support. Here, customers can take advantage of an essential part of their support agreement, helping them access support tickets in a centralized location, keep their IT environment healthy, and help their team grow their technical skills at no additional cost. Services Hub gives customers 24-7 access to support services to create and manage support tickets, track the status of open issues, and keep key team members informed. Customers can analyze their IT environment with assessments, with many that can be configured once and set to run on their own schedule. And with over 1,800 virtual hands-on labs, webcasts, learning paths and more, they can upskill their IT staff and keep pace with the speed of innovation. Services Hub brings on-demand resources to every employee into every workplace 
and in over 50 languages, making technical assistance and expertise more accessible than ever before. This is Microsoft Unified Support, bringing your support experience into the digital age. Now, as you see, you, you have to have unified, unified support from Microsoft. So that's usually included in your enterprise agreement. So if you have an enterprise agreement, just make sure that it's included. And as you can see, this comes at no extra charge. So especially if you're trying to, like they said, upscale your security people through training and through information, this is a great tool to use to help you get those people up to stuff much, much quicker. Give them, like they said, 1,800 different um, videos and training skills that they can go in and use and specialize in the area that they want to specialize in. Now, in this presentation, which you'll be getting from us, I've included a whole bunch of links here, everything from the threat experts that we talked about, um, talking about the capabilities, how to register, for threat experts, and you saw that in the video here. You also have um, a real good overview of what's covered under Office 365 Defender, and so you get a great working knowledge of that. All these links are hot links, so you'll be able to go in and take advantage of what Microsoft has to offer. As you can see, Microsoft, when it comes to security, they have really upped their game, uh, whether it be from an endpoint like we're talking about here, or if you're talking about really anything inside of your either on-premise or your cloud environment, Microsoft now has a full, I really mean full library of products to help you secure your environment, help you learn how to take advantage of all the skills and all the things that they offer you. And in a lot of cases, if you have the right licensing, there's no extra charge. So just remember that, you know, if you have like an M365, uh, E3 or E5, your threat experts and your anything that we showed in the first video is going to be covered through Microsoft 365 Defender, which is part of your E3, Microsoft E3 or E5, not the Office 365 E3 or E5, but the full-blown suite of products. And if you have an enterprise agreement and have unified, um, unified service, you will get the, um, the hub, the service hub from Microsoft, um, at no additional charge. So really something you should start taking a look at, take advantage, give us a call here at Sirius CDW, and we'll be more than happy to check, see what your licensing will cover and help you get started with the offerings. So with that, I'm going to now hand it over here to Abby, who's going to be talking about the reports that you got to get out of Inkscape. So if you don't mind, Abby, I'll just keep control and, and advance the slides for you. Okay, sounds good. So today we're going to cover the Inkscape Manage Reports. So you're able to create reports that you can that can be emailed to you on a daily, weekly, or monthly schedule, and you can also select the time zone and the time that the report is ran. So what follows under those reports are Office 365 users, groups, mailboxes, mailbox size, license, mobile devices, mail traffic, teams, and activity. So with that being said, Kevin, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So here is the dashboard of the Inkscape Managed Hall. Let me move this over here. So I up see it. I see it, just so you know. Okay, thank you, Kevin. So up in the left-hand corner, if you click on reporting, it's a little drop-down. And if you go to report listings, here is all the different reports that we have that you can choose to put on a schedule to be ran and emailed to you. So there's quite a bit here. So you can use the categories filter to filter this out. Sorry, I had my filters on there. But as you can see, there's many different reports here that you guys are able to utilize. So you can start your report by their name or use the categories filter here. You also, if there's a report that you go back to check a lot, you can add it to your personal favorites. You would just star that report 
and then you could easily find that report under your personal favorites. So to show you guys what a report looks like, I'm going to click on my Office 365 product activity report. You can refresh this report in real time as well as you can go ahead and schedule this report. You can add it to an existing subscription or you can create a new subscription. Also, I want to show you guys the license cost. And this was actually a report that a client asked us to make them. So we did. So if you guys have any suggestions on any reports that you would like and you don't already see in the platform, you can go ahead and send those over and I'll send it over to our development team and we'll try to get that fixed up for you. In but fact, again, quite a few and quite a few of the reports that are in there did come from suggestions made by the community. So please, I mean, this is how we get the feedback from you guys. Um, and they don't take very long to get up once you give us, you know, uh, your requirements. We'll we'll try to help you out. So just wanted to let to let them know that, Abby. Yeah. And then another one to show you guys what it looks like. We have the user's license. So here you would be able to go and see all of your users, their titles, office locations, and see all the license that the users have. So this could be helpful if you're comparing apples to apples. So to create a subscription, you would go back to reporting and click on schedules. And here is where you can create your schedule to have your reports run. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm going to click on create new schedule. I'm going to give my schedule a name. Together Tuesday example report. I can select my time zone. I'm going to select central. And then here is where you can decide your reoccurrence pattern. So this can be emailed to you on a daily, weekly, or monthly schedule. I'm going to select weekly. And then I can decide which day that this report is going to be ran and emailed to me. So I'm going to select Tuesday. And then you can also pick the time at which you want this report ran. So I'm going to go with. 8 o'clock AM and then you would save that schedule. Now going back to the reporting at the top, you would then click on report subscriptions. Here is where you can go in to pull that schedule that you just made. So you would select create new subscription. Click on schedule and here is where you could go to find that schedule that we just made our together Tuesday example report. You can um, these drop down carrots to the right is all of the different reports that you are able to pull to be emailed to you on your together Tuesday email example report. So say I wanted exchange user properties. Can do mailboxes by server. Throw some activity in here at my Office 365 product activity. So all of these reports will be mailed to me on a weekly basis. You can give your report subscription a name. And then here is where you can put in emails so you can send this to multiple people. So if your boss would also like to receive this report, you can put her or his email address. Here and then you can give your email a subject. Voila. You just add your email in here and select add and then this report would be emailed to you. And just remember that you can send this to a shared email address. So if you have an email address for, let's say, IT or or accounting or something like that, you can send it that way multiple people. And you can even send it to an email address that's assigned to a team in Microsoft Teams. So there's a bunch of different ways to get these reports. They don't have to be sent to an individual. They can be sent to a group or uh, a group mailbox and so on. Yes, sir. And then after um, you add it and save it, you can go back and you would be able to find this schedule again. Where you can click on it and get the details. 
And so, Kevin, I believe we have one more slide in our PowerPoint, if you would pull that up for me. All right, I got to share my desktop again. Hold on one sec. Too far. Oh, shoot. Well, maybe it didn't log on. Maybe it didn't add to it. But as a thank you for joining our Together Tuesday today, we are giving out free character pictures. So if you would like um, a picture sent to you, if you would please email me over a high quality picture of you, I can get that back to you shortly. Well, thank you, Abby, and I'm sure you did. I'm just trying to find it here, so because I thought I saw it too. But you, you know, this is this is live, so um, I have so many boxes open, it's ridiculous. So I'm uh, sorry true. about that. But I did see your little caricature. In fact, I saw it was uh, it was Chris Pyle. I thought was the picture that you actually put on there. Yes, sir. Here he is. <laughs> So, up oh, there we go. So, here, you know, let me share my desktop. I'll find it now. Sorry about that, everyone. So, share desktop. This way you get to see it. So, here's what Abby was talking about. So, uh, they took this picture from a real picture, just turned it into a caricature. And, you know, now with, uh, with Microsoft 365 and adding pictures to your profile so you see them, you know, in Teams or in email and so on, you know, this is a great way uh, to get, you know, kind of a unique look compared to everybody else, right? Exactly. All right, so coming up, let's just see if there's any, do we have, oh, we haven't even announced our June um, Together Tuesdays yet. So we're actually still putting together the agenda. We're not gonna have uh, Together Tuesday, the day after Memorial Day. Uh, as you know, that's coming up next week, so we won't see you then, but we will send out notifications for the second week in June through the end of the month. Um, and if there's anything specific that you want in there, just put it in the chat box here inside uh, Together Tuesdays, and we'll try to include it in our agenda coming forward. Um, so with that, um, I don't see any other questions to you, uh, Abby? No, sir. Okay. Uh, so with that, thanks everyone again for taking the time out and, and spending you know half an hour with us. Uh, and we'll look forward to seeing you again. Have a great holiday weekend and kick off the summer great this year. Have a great day. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.